once again welcome back to the cobalt in this tutorial i will show you how to create lower thirds but how is that done before we go over these strategies with examples let's define what lower thirds are lower third is a combination of text and graphical elements placed in the lower area of the television screen to give the audience more information it doesn't necessarily have to occupy the lower third of the screen but that's where it gets its name. Without wasting more time, let's get started. I am going to create shape here, for which we have to click on this icon, select fill and stroke hunt. Now create shape like this. Go to align to align it in center and click on this anchor tool point. Now, in the shape layer 1, go to rectangle path 1, unlink on this size, resize it to width to 900 and height to 150. Now in a transform rectangle 1, in this we change the skew to 35%. Let me rename this shape layer 1 to shape. Now duplicate this layer, it is Ctrl D. Let me call this box. Change this box color according to your choice. Then go to contents, then rectangle 1, go to rectangle path 1. In this, change size to 45%, select this box layer, hit yes, and resize the scale to 110. Then change the position of hit, hit P for position. To animate this box layer in a rectangle part 1, resize the height of box. Move 5 frames forward, then give the keyframe and move 5 frames backward, then resize its height to 0. Select this keyframe and it F9 to easy ease. Then click on this graph icon, then change the speed graph. Now you can see the animation of box looking fine now. Now select this shape layer and select this transform rectangle 1 and move this anchor point here and give the keyframe at starting of frame then move keyframes forward and give keyframe then come back at starting frame and make the 0%. So that this animates from this hand. I want this shape to animate before the box layer animation ends. So move this layer few frames forward. Well, change the speed graph here. Select shape layer and hit E. Select this keyframes, then click on this graph icon, then select this point and drag it like this. Yeah, now it's looking better. Now rename this layer blue because one more box we are creating here so that we can identify easily on which layer we are working. Duplicate this layer and let's call it magenta. You can change color according to your choice. Then drag this layer under the blue layer. Now duplicate this shape layer and let's call this as a stroke. Select fill none and add stroke. Then select this layer hold shift key and move it by arrow keys 
click on this solo this is all non solo video add the trim path for this layer open trim path one offset change it to minus 12 degree and change end to 55 percent scale motion is also apply for this later we will remove it now give the keyframe here move keyframes forward then give keyframe here and come back to previous keyframe and change its value to zero make this keyframe easy then change speed graph as we did earlier now you can see here stroke animation looking cool now ok now let us remove the scale animation click on the solo icon now click on this watch icon this animation looking good to me now we will change the position of magenta layer select this layer it he for the position and give the keyframe around here then move keyframes forward and change the position again select this keyframes and make it easy do it as earlier we did it move this keyframes backward because want this magenta layer to change the position along with the stroke appears nearly now let me check it that's looking good to me let me move this layer a little bit backward so it looks cool this is fine now to look more cool we give the motion blur that changes the look of animation superb now add the text click on this text icon and enter the text for whatever you want change the text color size and font style in this character we center this text in align Let me give the animation for this test layer. Select this test layer. It E for position and give the keyframe around one second and move for two second and again give the keyframe. Now come back to this keyframe and change the position of it. Make the easy for this keys and change the speed graph I want this animate little bit fast so I am changing the position of this key I want the text to animate while stroke is passing yeah this is looking better now select this text layer and pre-compose it let's call it as a text now create mask for this text layer you can see here 
just animates it before stroke passes and then magenta box appears this is looking fine i want this layer to animate in reverse for which we have to select all this layer and pre-compose it let's call it lower thirds Now go to edit, select split layer or it is the control select D. Delete this layer, duplicate this layer. This layer will rename it reverse. Move this layer at the ending of below layer. Click right button, go to time, then select time reverse layer. Now finally, let me check it. Superb. It's looking cool. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so you can get the notification of my upcoming new videos. In the next video, we will learn some more interesting. Until I have a good day.